Um, I, I want to ask you a question. Yes, you. <laughs> why haven't you subscribed to our channel? As in why? Why? <laughs> uh, okay, you know, just log on to YouTube, search for Ayobami Adeboyega Gospel Films TV channel, and click the subscribe button, press the notification bell, share the videos, send in your comments, and like the videos. And we want to thank you so much for your love for this channel. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> for him. Hmm. A fine and industrious husband like Alex, who can find 
like David in first Samuel chapter 30. I pursue, I overtake, and I recover that which belongs to me. I have found this one, and it will be mine forever. Oh no, wow. Alex Nimofe, 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 Alex Nimofe. Hello? Hello, Tony. Aniela? How are you? Oh, we thank God, though. God has been faithful. But, Ore, you offended me. Who did I do? You did not tell me that your cousin, Catherine, was coming home. I would have packaged and sent some Elubo and Gary to you through her. I later discovered she came home. When she already left. Oh, I thought I told you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ore. I'm sorry. So, are you still going to send the full stop? Mm, who will pay the shipping fees? Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. Um, Catherine's sister. Yeah, she's relocating here very soon, so you can send it through her. All right, I will. What's the latest? You mean that thing? Yes. I'm still going ahead or oh. still going ahead with my plans. Ah, but Tony, please think this thing through. I know there are godly men out there. <laughs> In this Ontario, <laughs> it's like the men here, especially the African men, it looks like they're just immune to commitment. It's all about the hustle for them. Eniola, oh, I wish I could just beat my own Alexander and rest. You will, you will, Toyi. Oh, look, at this rate, Eniola, at this rate, even if my Prince Charming never shows up, I'll still go ahead with my plans. But Toyi, in as much that I admit that age is no longer on our side, and time is running out for us to do the needful, you know, conceive it through IVF as a single mother, it's the same thing as having a child out of wedlock. Eniola, did the Bible say this specifically? Or is this something that's just been inferred from a very conservative mindset? Mm, okay, that's your conclusion anyway. But just be calm with it. You can't just ask yourself. Okay? Be calm. Take a little patience about it. Think about it before you take that step. Eniola, that place is noisy. Where are you? I'm at the Youth Fellowship Retreat. I can't with you. Oh, I've really, really missed an old retreat. Wow. Anyways, let me not keep you, okay? Let me not keep you. All right. Please stay safe. And keep your relationship with God tight. Okay? Okay.
okay, God will help me. God will help me. Yeah, go ahead. Just go back to the others, okay? My regards to your Prince Charming. All right, I will. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. Let me guess. That was Tony, right? Oh, Presido, you scared me. What are you doing here? I am sorry. I didn't see in the chapel, so I said I should come look for you. Hmm. I bet you were scared that I've been raptured before our wedding day. Ah, uh, Enola, will it be kind of to say the rapture can win? Ah, M-O-G. Hmm. Mm. Paul, Queen sent her greetings. Wow, that was so kind of her. VP, we need to rejoin the group now. Remember, you have to introduce the pastor and his wife before their session commences. That's true, that's true. Let's go. All right. All right. I'm waiting for you. Let's go. Okay. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. You can have your seat. want to be in Christ Jesus. Amen. However, these aspirations, as good as they are, come at a cost. Yes. That is why we all need divine wisdom in our navigation through life. Everybody, rise up and do as I do. Ooh. Say today. Today. Oh, today. today. We are going to drop on the well of divine wisdom. We are going to drop on the well of divine wisdom. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. On this third and the final day of our retreat, we have some special people in our midst. Wow. Oh. Our spiritual parents. Wow. Hey. They are going to be discussing with us on godly relationships. Wow. It is merely a question and answer section. Please pass your questions down to me here. Youth of Grace, Woo. let us welcome our senior pastor and his wife, our dear daddy and our mommy. Oh. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. the Bible says the glory of the youth is their strength. Jesus. Wow, clap for Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Amen. Amen. My wife and I are so excited and uh, we thank God because we are also youths. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me? <laughs> I mean, we are youth at heart. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> now that I have the questions here with me, I will take it one after the other and read it out. Mm. 
this one says, my friends and I have been engaged for two months, but we are yet to agree on a wedding date. Recently, he has been asking for us to consummate our relationship. Hmm. He says that we can have sex before our wedding since we will certainly end up getting married soon. Please, how true is this? Hmm. Hmm. Well, is this person's fiancé a believer? Well, anyway, see, whether you are getting married tomorrow or next year, you must learn to run from deception, as in such deception. Flee like a gazelle from the hands of the hunter. Galatians chapter 5 tells us that sexual immorality is a fruit of the flesh. So it is understandable that a man in the flesh will say anything to get what he wants. See, sex before marriage is no no. I tell you the truth. Don't ruin your lives with any lying lips from anyone. In fact, I, I, I would like to see this person's fiancé privately. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. If I may add, please. Please go ahead. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 to 20. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you receive from God? So, you are not your home, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. See him, keeping yourself is not just for God's sake, but yours as well. Once it is done, it cannot be undone. So don't allow any man or woman lead you to a lifetime of regrets. Mm. Hmm. Thank you very much, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope you are all listening. Yes, hmm. Hmm. The next one says, anytime I'm with my fiancé, I feel some strange sensations in my body. <laughs> I always feel like having sex with her. Is this normal? <laughs> <laughs> it is perfectly normal. Yeah. See, for an adult who is properly functioning, as in physically, sexual hurt or sensation towards your future partner is normal. In fact, I will not advise you to marry somebody that you are not attracted to. But you must be careful so that your flesh will not be your master. Mm. For the fact that you feel like stealing does not mean you should steal. Mm. See, personally, I will advise that intending couples should not be spending too much time together alone or be physically intimate. Are you following me? Yes, yes sir. Your chastity is your virtue that you must protect till your wedding night. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And this instruction is not just for females. Mm. Both brothers and sisters should keep themselves. Mm. It is a pity that the world standards are shifting. Nevertheless, God's standards never shift. Mm. So, do not allow your flesh 
get the better of you. Amen. Amen. Brethren, let him who thinks he stands take it, lest he falls. Mm -hmm. So that we are Christians does not mean we should be careless. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Uh, by God's grace, I'm going to look for time to share some of my personal experiences with you uh, in church by the grace of God. Uh, please, sexual hurt is normal, but you can control it by controlling your mind. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Um, this one, the one I have here says... How are you? I'm fine. I learned the session with the right was awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it was a really awesome time with them as usual. Were you not there? I was preparing lunch. Ah, uh, but you shouldn't have allowed lunch to disturb impartation. That's the primary reason for this retreat. I, I already had my personal retreat this morning. It doesn't matter. This retreat is both personal and corporate. And uh, I think I saw Bola and Rose in the chapel. Who helped you in the kitchen? I actually asked them to attend the meeting. You mean you prepare lunch for over 20 people all alone? Sister Ruth, I, 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 that is not good enough. Remember what the Lord Jesus told Martha in Luke 10? When she prioritized kitchen business ahead of sitting to learn at the Lord's feet. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about too many things. Only few things are needed. Indeed, only one. You have Bola and Rose to choose a better option that cannot be taken from them. You should have done the same, Sister Ruth. Thank you, Presido. I actually, I understand what you are saying. But it's the smallest thing I can do for God. I just love to save. Anyways, that you found a way to do it all alone is very commendable. You should get some rest before our departure time. I will. I actually brought this for you. I prepared this specially for you as a very special person. Sister Ruth, thank you. But I prefer to eat with others in the dining hall. Yeah, they will be served as usual. I just wanted to accept this from me as a special offering. Sister Ruth, thank you very much. I am very grateful. The Lord will bless you. Amen. You should actually get some rest. Your face is pale. You noticed my face? Uh, of course. Is there anything wrong in noticing your sister's face? Uh, no, nothing. Right. Uh, you can notice it as much as you want. All right, thank you. All right, I still want to check around with you. All right. Take care, President.
How far? <laughs> I'm fine, no. I'm ah. very, very, very fine. Very fine. Ah. Ah. This is what she brought again. <laughs> ah, ah. ah. Fried rice, chicken lap, dodo beef. Hey! This is our root, is something else, so. oh. Hey! Mm -hmm. So much for special offering. Abio! Ah! This is an ever easy to amuse me. Mm. She's always acting very strange. Ruth is perfectly normal. Mm. She only does that when she's around you. You both know what she wants. But I'm engaged. She doesn't know, does she? I don't think so. Did you tell her anything? Me? <laughs> if not for the lost work in this fellowship, what business would I have with her? Wow, wow, wow. And just hold it. Romance chapter 10 verse 16 says, live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. You should know better than to sound so harsh about a fellow sister who is also an ex like you. You are right. I'm sorry. The West did not come out right. Hmm. All I'm just trying to say is that a heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Proverbs 14, verse 30. I can see the way she looks at me. For whatever reason, the aroma of her envy appears strong, but it doesn't bother me. Hmm. Somebody sounding jealous, I see. Me? Jealous? <laughs> if I would be jealous of anyone, it is not truth. Trust me. But seriously, don't you think we should let everyone know that we are engaged? Hmm. Breaking news. The president and the vice president of our youth fellowship, Bro Alex and Sister Inola are now engaged. Their wedding date will be announced very soon. So, all potential suitors should please back off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the controversies that that will generate? Uh -uh. It is better we keep it low-key until we have a date. Mm -hmm. But we have a date. But that is still subject to confirmation now. I know, but I can't wait. Me too. In the meantime, this food cannot just go to waste like mm. that. Yes. So what do we do about it? Uh -uh. We eat now. Mm. And now some have food, but cannot eat. Some can eat, but have no food. All thanks to God and our dear sister Ruth, we have food and we can eat. <laughs> Very funny, yes. but what of if there's no portion in it? Ah, then Ruth will be ready to make do with love from two people. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's eat before the boss arrives, Joe. <laughs> What? What happened? Oh my god! Anola? Aha! What happened? What? What? Now talk to me. What? What happened to Auntie Shade? Anola, what happened? What can I do to make you feel better now? Can you please embrace me? I love you. I love you too. Well, I think he's close to Sister Inisha. The VP? Yes. Impossible. Ah, uh -uh. Why? They won't work. She's not his type. <laughs> And how do you know his type, Sister Root of God? Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. To be one of our partners, kindly send your seeds to our ministry's account. Thank you. God bless you. Our godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife oh. Love each other sincerely A Christian home is the best Our
godly hope where true love is shared. Husband and wife, love each other sincerely. For you are my joy, 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 the love of my life. I will miss you, Tom Goswood. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you are my joy, 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 the love of my life. Some dogs were we a lucky family. 